Now, availability of clean water is number six on the 17 item Millennium Development Goals. And more than 15 years after the adoption of the goals by the United Nations, many communities still do not have access to clean water. New Central's Chizoba Anyongwe visited some areas in Jos, the Plateau State capital, north central of Nigeria, and now file seeing a report. Water, water everywhere, but not a drop to drink, are some words of a poet who believed that not just water, rather, clean water is an essential commodity. Those lines may be a perfect reflection of the situation some residents of Plateau State find themselves in despite efforts of past governments to provide portable water to citizens. People in some areas I visited in Jaws, the capital city of Plateau State, would rather give in anything dear to them to have clean water. We're feeling it so much. Because before you get your good water to drink, you go to the borehole. In the morning, you go and buy. In the evening, you have to go for water. And water is life. We don't have a tap bone water here. We only have the source of water here is from uh, well and uh, rain. We don't have tap bone water. In their plight and in this pitiable condition, some others also in their suffering smile home at the expense of others. Creative. I've done about six trips now and I've gotten about 3,000 plus as my profit. This business, I benefit from this business. I'm not a beggar, I don't depend on person. I like the business because, okay, because um, if they give me money. Now, governments have come and gone, but the blame game has remained. The only difference this time is that obsolete equipment and non-sustainability of projects are sharing in the blame, while citizens keep waiting patiently for clean water to stay healthy. The government of the day is planning to rehabilitate the treatment plants, like the Yakubu Gawan treatment plants, the Yalwa treatment plants, the Lamingo treatment plants. Work will soon commence on it. And all that aim at addressing the challenges that is being faced by the people of just metropolis. Mindful of the hazard that is the consequence of lack of clean water, government needs to wake up to their responsibility if indeed the saying that a healthy nation is a wealthy nation is anything to go by. Most of us in this country and sub-Saharan Africa, we have this challenge of getting clean water. We go to the villages, people go to the stream, they swim there, they still fetch the same water to drink, you know. And so you have these diseases prevalent, most especially in the early periods of the rains. And uh, so the organisms that will cause, fe I mean, the enteric fever, what you call the typhoid fever, is washed into the river, and these people get it and drink it, and it causes problems to them. Um, another uh, problem that could come is cholera. I am here in Apata area of just north local government area of Plateau State. I came here because majorly, the residents of this area complain of unavailability of clean water for home use. And as we can see, many people here, like the band behind me, are here to fetch water for sale, not just for their own use. It is very sunny right now, but they have no choice than to do what they need to do to keep their families running. For those residents in this area, it is their hope that government will do what is necessary for them to have available water, clean water at that for use. How soon this will happen is what we cannot tell, but it is hoped that government will hear their plea and do the needful. Chizoba Anyowe, reporting for New Central.